Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena Pereira. I love makeup and I'm from Sydney, Australia. So today's video is going to be my yays and nays for the month of April. I cannot believe that we are in May. My birthday has already passed and I always say that when my birthday passes, half the is pretty much gone. Now you guys, I'm thinking of doing an unboxing video when I receive a bunch of packages that I've ordered. So let me know by liking this video if you would like to see that. But you guys, for now, let's get into this video. I have a lot of items to cover in my yays and a couple of nays also to talk about this month. So without further ado, now please keep on watching. The first thing that I want to mention in skincare is the Sephora Cleansing Wipes. Now these ones here are the pomegranate ones. I believe that Sephora has, I think it's five or six different types. I have been absolutely loving these wipes. They have the cleansing ones and also the exfoliating ones that I also really like as well. The exfoliating ones basically are like a normal wipe on one side. Then the other side has a little bit of grittiness, which is the exfoliating side. And can you believe that these are only a dollar more a packet than the simple ones? The reason that I don't mind paying that extra little bit of money is one, they do wipe your makeup off better than the, than the simple wipes. So for the simple wipes, you might need to use two to get your makeup off, whereas this one, you'll only need one. The other thing that's great about this is the actual packaging. So as you can see, it has a really nice and secure pop open type of packaging, whereas the simple wipes have one of those plastic sticker type of packaging, which they're great as well, but as soon as you peel off that sticker all the way, your wipes will start to get dehydrated. The actual component is really nice on the wipes. It just feels really nice and secure and feels like the wipes are gonna keep really well. Um, and then the actual product is amazing inside too. So I've been absolutely loving these wipes from Sephora. Toner. Now I know I spoke about a toner in my last favorites video, but I have a new favorite. So this one is from Pixie. This is the Glow Tonic. I have been loving this toner recently. Now this toner does also have glycolic acid. So very much like the Mario Bitter Skew one, it has the same kind of properties and features. The reason I like this one better is that I feel that it is a lot more soothing on the skin. I find that if I have any kind of breakages in my skin, whether it be from a blemish or a little scab or a little cut or something like that, I do find that the one from Mario Bitter Skew does slightly burn and irritate. Now that is pretty normal when you're dealing with any kind of products that have an acid in it but I find that this one doesn't do that so it's just a bit of an added bonus so I think that if you have sensitive skin this will definitely work for you I've been really liking it my skin feels really clean after I use it so next I want to talk about acne treatments now if you guys follow me on Snapchat then you will probably know that I had a bit of a tough time this month with my skin breaking out quite a lot when I first was breaking out I didn't really know what was happening because I wasn't really using anything different but then I later on realized that it was my makeup brushes hadn't been cleaned in a while. So guys, just remember to always clean your brushes as often as possible. Now, when I do break out, usually I will break out in my chin and jawline region. That is my problem area. So what I've been using this month to help clear that, and this has really honestly helped a lot, it is from Mario Benescu, one of my favorite skincare brands, as you all know. This is the Anti-Acne Serum. It has a gel formula. So it's gonna be great for those that actually have acne prone skin. So it's not gonna feel oily or greasy like some other serums may feel on the skin. This is very gel-like and as soon as it blends in the skin, you basically don't feel it. So I've been loving this. I really feel that this has helped my breakouts to heal. This is the last skincare item. This is from Tarte, the Drink of H2O Hydrating Moisturizer. Now this has only been available here in Australia for the past, I would say, two weeks and I bought it two weeks ago when it first launched. I have been loving it ever since. I haven't had it for very, very long, but I already am absolutely obsessed with it. Now, for those of you that know, I speak about this all the time, I have dry skin. This is a gel formula moisturizer, which usually is really tailored to more oily skin. So it's blue and it's a gel formula. It actually looks like water in the container. Now, the reason that I love this is because one, it is quite light. So I use this as my day moisturizer and it really is nice underneath makeup. Two, when I apply it, I feel like my skin is literally drinking water. So I can use it every single day and it is hands down my new favorite day moisturizer. All right, now I'm gonna move on to primers. The one primer I've been using all month long is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I spoke about the self-adjusting primer in my last favorites video. I still really like that one. 
The only thing that I find with it, which is the reason that I wanted to switch it up, is because it, it leaves me a little bit of a white cast. Now, my foundation does cover that, but if I want to go for a very natural skin day where I just want to fill in my pores, I can't really use it because it will make my skin look lighter in the areas that I've used it. I've never used a primer that fills in my pores just like this one does, and I have been absolutely loving this one. So I've been really into the more natural skin lately, so for my everyday wear, I've been using more natural foundations. So there's two that I have here, both are from MAC. Uh, one of them is a new release. One of them is an item that's already in their existing line. I have the MAC Waterweight Foundation and the MAC Next to Nothing Foundation. Now in the Next to Nothing, I have a shade Medium. And in the uh, Waterweight, I'm in the shade NC40. Both of these are beautifully formulated. They are very different though. So the Next to Nothing is very similar consistency to MAC Studio fix which a lot of people have said on social media and I honestly agree with that. The next to nothing foundation I find has less coverage than the water weight however it is a lot more luminous so if you like that luminosity this is a really really good one for you. The only thing about this one that I'm kind of a bit funny about is the shades. So the shades work similar to the mineralized rain where it's light layer plus, medium, medium plus, all that kind of stuff. Now with the water weight this one has an SPF of 30. I'm not sure if the next to nothing has an SPF I will leave it down below if it does it has a little bit more coverage but it also is a little bit more matte than the next to nothing what I also notice about this one is that it's a little bit more watery so it's more like the face and body consistency this one has a dropper bottle which I actually love foundations that have a dropper bottle I just find them really really easy to use because you can just go and just apply drops to your face now the shade range is basically like the other ranges that they have it's also really quick and easy to use so people that don't have a lot of time in the morning this is a really great way to go next thing I want to talk about is a product that has been around for a long time and I've never gotten it because I've never really needed to buy it and I've never really thought much of it but this is the MAC select cover-up concealer I purchased this because Nikki tutorial said that she used it for her cut creases I have been using it for my cut creases and also to carve out my brows and it is an amazing concealer for that. What I like about it is that it's really nice and watery so it is going to move around really nicely and it's not going to kind of settle and cake up too much which is great for when you're doing that kind of work especially on your eyes and your brows. I also use this concealer as a concealer when I'm going for more natural days. I will use my water weight or my next to nothing and then I will use this as my concealer because it doesn't look cakey, it looks really natural. So I've been loving this as my concealer for every day. Next product that I've been loving is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. Now I don't really need to go into much detail about this because everyone talks about this on social media. It is a really, really beautiful bronzer. Now it is a little bit up there in price, but you do get a good amount of product for your buck. So this has a total of 25 grams, which just to compare it to a MAC Studio Fix powder. The Studio Fix powder has 15 grams. So you are getting 10 grams more of product and obviously you are paying for that extra 10 grams of product. In my opinion, it really is worth the money. So now I found a blush that I absolutely love, MAC Warm Soul. Again, this is a cult favorite here on YouTube and on social media in general. So I don't need to go into this too much, but I have been loving, 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 loving this blush. What I like is that it has a good mix of every single tone. It has a bit of peach, has a bit of pink, has a bit of mauve, has a bit of everything. So it really is a great blush for any kind of makeup look, any kind of day you're having. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's going to give you that really nice highlighted and glowy effect, which I absolutely love. I'm all about the glow, and so I've been absolutely loving this blush. Okay, so I'm going to move on and talk about a couple of eye products I've been loving. The first thing I want to talk about is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid eyeshadows. Hey, I got that right. So this one is in the shade Smoky Storm. This has been my favorite shade recently. I have three shades in this product. I have Smoky Storm, Malted Midnight, and what's my other shade called? Uh, Rose Gold Retro, which is also a really beautiful shade. So this is what Smoky Storm looks like. As you can see, it is so beautifully pigmented. 
um, like all their other shades are. I've been really loving this product for just a really easy eye look. I do have a look coming up on my channel where I use this and one other eyeshadow and it is an amazing look that will be up in the next couple of weeks with one swipe you get amazing pigmentation it lasts all day this has been one of my favorite eyeshadow products all right guys now continuing on with eyeshadows i've been loving the melt cosmetics eyeshadow stacks now i've got two stacks here i believe i have the dark matter stack and the rust stack i have absolutely been loving these eyeshadows for starters, the color range is really, really great. Um, like I said, I only have two stacks and I can't wait to get more of their shadows and I also can't wait for Milk Cosmetics to come out with a bunch of new shades, especially shimmers. I love how blendable the shadows are. I love how pigmented they are. And I think that the packaging is absolutely genius, that they're all magnetic and they're in a stack situation. And I've been absolutely loving these shadows. There are a few lip products that I have been really particularly loving this month. So I'm going to bring those out and share those with you. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is by Marc Jacobs. This is the uh, Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. This one is in the shade Hot Cocoa. I am one of those people that my kind of ideal nude is actually a nude very much like this shade. I love that very warm terracotta brown and even like movie tone nudes which you'll see in the other shades that I've picked that that's basically the color story. I love this color. This is a beautiful shade. The formula of these of these lip lips are amazing. They are not a liquid lip like the Beauty Bakeries or like the Jeffree Stars. They are more of a creamy liquid lip. I like to think of it as a lipstick in a liquefied version. So yes, they are a little bit of a matte finish, so like a matte finish lipstick. However, they will not last you all night long. They will fade throughout the night, but sometimes I do like a bit of variety in that. I do like more creamy kind of style um, liquid lips as well. The next two lip products I want to talk about are from Bare Minerals. Now, one is a lip gloss and one is a liquid lip. I'll first talk about the liquid lip. This one is in the shade XYZ. Now, this formula, kind of a similar situation with this one like the Marc Jacobs. It doesn't dry a totally drying matte finish. It is a little bit more of a kind of creamier finish. Now this one here is the shade XYZ next to Hot Cocoa and again I really love the formulation of these liquid lipsticks. It is so creamy, fully opaque, you can layer them really really nicely. They do wear for a good amount of time and then when they do start to fade away, they fade gradually. You don't just lose color automatically unless you obviously wipe your lips and all that kind of stuff. But I really do love these liquid lipsticks from Bare Minerals. Very similar to the whole Marc Jacobs situation. The color range is very limited. They are all very nude shade. Bare Minerals is a brand that is kind of known to be a little bit more on the natural side, but it would be really cool to see this particular line come out with different shades, even, you know, some dark vampy colors and different things. I think it would be absolutely amazing. Also from Bare Minerals is their lip gloss. This one is in the shade Fly. This is like a peachy nude gloss with gold shimmer in it, which I love. That is the gloss there, which is called Fly, like I said. It is really nice and glossy. You can see it looks really wet, which I love from a gloss. It has that little bit of shimmer in it, which I actually like glosses that have a little bit of sparkle in them. I think that it really makes the lips look more plumpy and more full, as long as it's not chunky pieces of, of, of glitter and sparkle. Um, but I really, really love this. And again, the texture on these is amazing. So I actually bought this and I was already using it. And just recently, Jacqueline Hill has mentioned these in her current favorites video. So that's kind of like, you know, the second tier of approval to say that they're a good product. All right, so the last thing I have to talk about, which is the most exciting thing, is highlighters from Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Light Fusion Highlighter. This one is in the shade two and it is the more golden shade so there is another color that they do called shade one and it is more of a pink iridescent color that is what the highlight looks like there and i will swatch it as well on the hand for you this is a really 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 beautiful highlight it's really nice and um creamy as well so 
that's it there. It's really beautiful. What I like about this highlight is that it is really, really creamy, so it kind of just melts in the skin already without even needing to apply any setting spray over the top of it. It is just really nice and creamy, really skin-like, and really smooth. I really have been loving this highlight as well. I'm so excited to be talking about these. Now, these are not new. These have been out for quite a while. I've never heard anyone speaking about them. From Inglot, these are the Shimmer Dusts. What I usually do is I will take any one of these shades and I will apply it to my cheekbones and then I will take number six and I will use this as a highlighting topper. This particular shade, I don't know what it is about this or what, what kind of unicorn voodoo that they put in this. It makes your cheeks look like glass. It is absolutely incredible. It gives you the most amazing wet look. I have a photo on my Instagram, which I will leave around here somewhere using this highlight and the shade number two as well, using both of these together. And the glow is unreal. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you, I was sending messages to Mars just how blinding and incredible this highlight is. This just totally transforms one's highlight. Like honestly, if you love the glow, then look no further. So on that note, now that I'm in a good mood, I think it's a good time to speak about the nays. So if you guys want to see what products I didn't like so much during this month, then they're coming up next. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1 Foundation. Now, I will say though really quickly, I think this doe foot applicator is amazing. I love this concept of a doe foot applicator for a foundation. The foundation itself, I don't know if it's just my skin, because it could just be my skin type. I do have dry skin, like I say all the time. Um, but I find that this foundation, one, it does oxidize on me. It goes quite dark and quite orange. The first time I actually wore it, my cousin said to me, why is your face orange, Selena? So it does kind of sink into my fine lines. I do have a couple of fine lines, like we all do, um, but I find that it does seep into those. It is full coverage, which is great, um, but I also find that it is a little bit heavy on me. Now, I've tried shearing this out with an oil, and to me, it still looks quite heavy and quite cakey. I have also tried it with a beauty blender, with a brush. I've tried applying this in all different ways. Um, some of my concealers as well don't react very well with it. I know the Tarte Shape Tape on me anyway. My under eyes crease when I use this with the Tarte Shape Tape, and Tarte Shape Tape never creases on me. But it's just Obviously, the formulation of this with Tarte Shape Tape just doesn't really work very well. I will continue to use it and I will continue to try it out. And if my thoughts do change on this, I will 100% let you guys know. But at the moment, it is an A for me. Alright, the next product I want to mention is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. The one, I don't think it's worth the money. I think it's like 80 something dollars um, here in Australia and I just think that it's not worth that kind of money. When I applied it, I thought it was super comparable to the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, which I love this. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. Um, it is a little bit thick, so if you don't like a thick moisturizer for during the day, then you're not going to like this. I did find them very, very similar. However, for starters, you get, product-wise, you get 50 mils in the Bobbi Brown and you get 60 mils in the Confidence Center Cream. I think this one is... $59 or $62. It's around about that mark. I believe this one is. If I'm wrong, I'll leave it down below anyway. Um, and I just think that the benefits on this one is a lot better. The other thing too is that it is so much more hydrating. Like when I apply this, I feel hydrated. My skin feels supple. With the Vitamin Rich Face Base from Bobbi Brown, I put it on and then after about two minutes, I think to myself, have I even applied anything? And at the end of the day, if you're going to pay money for something, you want it to work and you want it to actually feel like it's making a difference. It hasn't made any difference to my longevity of my makeup, hasn't made any difference to the look of my makeup, whereas the confidence in a cream does make a difference to the look, the longevity, all that kind of stuff of my makeup. So um, the Bobbi Brown one is definitely a nay for me, but I'm giving you guys an alternative, which is the it Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. All right, next nay is from Kiehl's. This is the Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. Now, this product is from the Midnight line, which one of the most well-known lines from Kiehl's. And I will say that the oil 
is amazing. The Midnight Recovery Oil is really, really good. The eye cream, not so much. I feel like it just does nothing. I'm not saying that the product is bad or that it's doing something bad to my skin because it isn't. I haven't had any issues with my under eyes. I just feel that it doesn't really do anything um, out of the ordinary or anything too special. That could just be because my skin is that dry that it doesn't hydrate it enough. I don't know what it is, but it's just not really for me and I would much rather that you all save your pennies. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed my yays and nays for the month of April. Now you guys, with the nays, if any of these products that I've mentioned you like, keep using them. Don't be offended by me saying that I don't like these products. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. I wish that these products worked for me because I obviously bought them, so I obviously spent money on them. So it's a bit of a shame that they didn't work for me. Um, but I will continue to use them, and if I do have a change of opinion, I will definitely be sure to let you know on social media or on YouTube somehow. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and be sure to turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Make sure you check me out on my other social media, which is Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, because I'm going to be doing a big giveaway when I reach 100,000 followers. So make sure that you go and follow, that you tell your mum to follow, your auntie to follow, your cat, your dog, your sister, your baby cousin, everyone to follow because I will be doing a massive giveaway once I get there. And please leave me a comment down below on what you want to see next. Once again, guys, I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.